Game 4 McMaster's 2010 All-UA season against the Ottawa GGs was as exciting as they get as both teams went point for point before Ottawa sparked a fourth quarter comeback to take the game 43-35. to The number two GGs wasted no time marking the scoreboard as Brad Sinopoli snipered a shot to Ezra Millington for Ottawa's first major during their first possession of the ballgame. Mac responded with a drive of their own that included a nice grab by Fochestado to move the Marauders down to the 35-yard line. Soon after, Quinlan connected with Matt Parasini to put Mac on the board and tie things up 631 into the game. Ottawa was in the red zone again halfway through the first but couldn't bring down either of Sinopoli's two end zone tosses and settled for a 27-yard field goal. After a 35-yard toss to Bal Duke from Ottawa's goal line, the GGs thought they'd be starting the second quarter in a comfortable spot. Uh. The GGs at that point in time as the pass is picked off and returning it back is Metcalf, the linebacker. Metcalf hits on the 30, hits on the 25, and he is forced out of bounds at the 24-yard uh, line as a flag is on the field back at the midfield strike. A face mask call against the GGs tacked another 15 yards onto Metcalf's return to put Mack into the red zone with nine seconds to play in the first quarter. What followed was a five-yard pass to Parasini for his second touchdown of the game. A seven-yard pass to Fochestado in the end zone gave Quinlan his third touchdown of the game. Second and ten with three and a half minutes remaining in the half, Sinopoli aired it up the middle to Labonte. Falvo's convert made the score 21-17 for Bingmaster heading into the break. The Marauders took advantage of a botched snap to start the third. A quick snap that Sinopoli was not ready for. Sinopoli rolling out. Sinopoli throwing and it's intercepted! Picked off by Michael Daly! And just as the GGs had gotten over the first one... It happened again. In interlock play. Sinopoli airing it out. Fauci Levante can't get to it. It's intercepted again. Ventresca with the second consecutive interception by the Marauders. Second and six at the GG's 25. Parasini pulled down a pass with one hand to give the Marauders a first down. On the very next play, a wide open Joey Nebbit turned it upfield and ran it in to give Mack an 18 point lead. Sinopoli was picked off again for the third consecutive possession after Millington was tripped up on the turf and Daly pulled it down. Enough was enough for the GGs. On their next possession, Ottawa muscled their way down to the goal line and Gergen rushed in his first TD of the night. Balduke echoed his teammates' efforts in the quarter's dying seconds to make it a two-point ball game. The GGs then picked up a break in the fourth. It's fumbled by Nemet, and Nemet can't come up with the ball. Who has it? It is Ottawa ball! With the momentum on their side, Ottawa made it into scoring territory and erased their 18-point deficit to take the lead with a 23-yard field goal. With less than three minutes left in the game, Ottawa dotted the exclamation mark on their comfort oh, behind the game. Airing it. So wide open to Jenny, and he's gone! Cyril and Jenny is going to give the GGs a bigger lead! Cyril and Jenny, touchdown! Quinlan completed 18 of 32 passes for 246 yards and five touchdowns, while Parasini finished the game with nine receptions for 118 yards and two touchdowns. Defensively, Byron Metcalf tallied three solo tackles, a fumble recovery, and an interception for 36 yards. Mike Daly had an equally as impressive day with five tackles and two interceptions for 20 yards. Join the 2-2 two two Marauders next Saturday, September 25th at Homecoming as they host the Windsor Lancers at Runjoy Stadium. For the Master Marauders, I'm Charlotte Peer.